Hola artistas, this is Miss Paulis y bienvenidos. We've been talking about how the world needs your voice. Si, sí, la tuya. Did you know that there are kids just like you who've used their voice and actions to make a positive change in the world? Today, we will learn about a few of these young activists as we begin to finalize and share our important message with the world. Vamanos, let's learn more. Today, we will share and discuss our important message. Hoy, compartiremos y discutiremos nuestro mensaje importante. In addition to creating change with our art and words, we can also create change through our actions. Let's learn more by reading the story, I Am One, A Book of Action, written by Susan Verde and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Press pause as we read along together. Wow, what a wonderful story. Did you know that there are kids just like you who've used their voice to speak up for what they believe in? Their words and actions have changed the world. Let's learn about a few of these young activists. Greta Thunberg uses her voice to try to save the environment. She organized a protest where millions of children all over the world use their voice to ask the government to take action on climate change and protect the planet. ¿Qué acciones puedes tomar para ayudar al planeta? When Ashan Johnson found out that the city of Chicago was closing a lot of schools, he used his voice to speak out and fight to make sure that his school wasn't closed. ¿Qué dirías para salvar tu escuela? Sophie Cruz was born in the United States, but her parents are undocumented immigrants from Mexico. She used her voice to ask for the continuation of the DAPA, Deferred Action for Parents of Americans, program, which would allow her parents to remain in the United States legally. ¿Qué harías para mantener a tu familia juntos? These students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School use their voices to organize the March for Our Lives movement. Their goal is to create a safe and compassionate nation for all of us, free of gun violence. ¿Qué podría decir para mantener a los demás seguros? The drinking water in Mari Kopani's city of Flint, Michigan got dirty and was no longer healthy to drink. When the government wouldn't fix it, she used her voice to bring attention to the problem. ¿Qué harías si no tuvieras agua? Malala Yousafzai lived in Pakistan where girls were not allowed to go to school. When she was 10 years old, she started using her voice to demand that girls be allowed to go to school. ¿Qué dirías si a las niñas no se les permitiera ir a la escuela? Wow, all of these kids use their voice to speak up for what they believe in. And their actions have created a positive change in the world. What will you say and do to make a change? How will you express a meaningful message in your self-portrait? Let's take one last look at how these artists use their art and words to say something. Notice how each image is unique. Your final work can look and say what you want it to. Don't be afraid to embrace your creativity. You can find more examples at amplifier.org. Use Pixlr E to finish your self-portrait. You can watch my previous tutorial videos if you need a review. So go ahead and get started. Begin by completing your digital work of art. Use your art and words to express your feelings about a cause that's important to you. Think about what images other than your self-portrait you can include. What additional details can you incorporate to make your message more clear? Once you're finished with your art, save your work as a JPG file. Finally, post your work online where we will share it with others. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how kids just like you have been able to make a positive change in the world con su voz y acciones. I can't wait to see what you say and do to make a positive change in the world. Recuerda, tu voz es importante. Until next time, adios artistas. <music>